ever heard, number two, right here on Seven. Good morning and welcome to World of Sport Replay with your host, Peter Donaghy. And a very good morning everyone. Welcome along to World of Sport Replay at the start of another big day of sport here on Channel 7. Of course, World of Sport with Bill Collins at 11 o'clock. And uh, after World of Sport, at about 2 o'clock, we'll take you live to South Australia for the final round of the South Australian Open. And uh, it's been a great tournament so far, and you'll see all the action here on 7 this afternoon. Well, it was a marvellous day at Mooney Valley yesterday. Weather conditions were absolutely perfect, and the running of the WS Cox Plate was the highlight of the card. Let's go back last night and uh, Tats Lotto numbers first of all here on 7. And the draw number 445, Division 1 prize pool, was in excess of $1.354 million. And the numbers were 2, 20, 22, 37, 39 and 44 with the two supplementary numbers 16 and 24. And in Super 66, the prize pool over $265,000 and the numbers were 5, 3, 9, 5, 8 and nine. Just before we take a break, um, if you did happen to win in Tats Lotto last night or if you had a win on the races, keep in mind that the Save the Children phone-a-thon is on today and there are two numbers to call. We'll show these numbers to you a little bit later and Lou Richards will be talking about it in World of Sport, but the numbers to call if you can make a donation are 529-8822 and the STD toll-free number is 008-135-140. And I think we might be able to take a look at those numbers now. So if you do uh, have any money spare, there are the numbers on screen now. 529-8822 or 008-135-140 for the Save the Children Fund phone-a-thon. And uh, on those numbers, Bob Geldof will be answering the phones from about 4.15 this afternoon. You can make donations from 9 o'clock until 9 o'clock tonight. So give generously. We'll take a break and be back with WS Cox Plate Day from Mooney Valley in just a moment. Channel 7 invites you to experience the group for the WS Cox Plate and Mooney Valley Cup meeting and proceedings were opened up by the Silver Jubilee Stakes over 1,000 metres and the equal favourites here, Black and Beautiful and Sculpturesque at 3 to 1 each of two. Your commentator is the accurate one, Bill Collins. Runners all ready for the first of the eight events. Black and Beautiful rears high in the store. Racing now. Jumped OK, Black and Beautiful. Contemporary Art first out from Black and Beautiful. And uh, Majesty getting away quite well. And Just Footloose hard ridden along the rails with Celsi Lass. Sculpturesque booted up in the centre to join the leaders. And they were followed two lengths to Inchidoni, who can't go early from Lust. Then Fiery Cinders followed well back in the field then by Shining Princess and Kinetic. Coming up by the 600 and the leader here on the outside, Contemporary Art, a half to Sculpturesque. Sculpturesque, a half away, black and beautiful. One to just foot loose, and on the inside of those horses is Celsi Lass. A length and a half inch at Donnie and Lust both pull to the outside now, and uh, Celsi Lass got a check there from Fiery Cinders. Contemporary Art, the leader now from Sculpturesque, with black and beautiful coming at them with 300 to go. Inch at Donnie pulled out, running on well, but Contemporary Art's going to take catching and then just foot loose. Contemporary Art headed up a length and a half, black and beautiful, who's hanging from Inch Donny the outside, and Sculpturesque. Contemporary Art, the leader, 100 to go. Inch at Donnie's coming at it hard on the outside and black and beautiful the centre. The three of them hitting at inch of Donnie might be doing better. It is. It's won it. Ahead to black and beautiful. A neck away contemporary art third from Celsi Lass. No luck. Then Sculpturesque just foot loose. Next fiery cinders followed by Shining Princess. A long gap to Kinetic. Lust dropped right out of it. And Majestique is last to finish. Pretty good performance by Inchidoni in the first race at 4-1, to one, running home strongly to beat Black and Beautiful, the 3-1 to one equal favourite. And third placing went to Contemporary Art at 8-1, Sculpturist, unplaced equal favourite at 3-1. to one. In the Foster's Lager Stakes, the second, the favourite, Haunting at 4-1. to one. Well, the light's on, away they go. Near the inside, Bay of Sterling and Torval began well. From on the outside of them is Credit Card. Seeker Fortune looking for the lead, so is Golden Twig out wide. And Pope No Pearl in the centre. When they settle down, Golden Twig heading to the first corner. Shot out two lengths to Haunting, being bustled up today to go into second placing. Usually drops out to last. 
They were followed by Pope No Pearl from Torval, one to seek a fortune, a length credit card, a length and a half Bay of Sterling. On its outside, Doll says a Svelte Princess, a length and a half Hippity Hop and Ming Princess at the rear. As they went past the thousand, Golden Twigger neck to haunting, a length and a half Torval in the box seat from Pope No Pearl. Four deep Svelte Princess goes around them from credit card and Hippity Hop taking off five wide. Then came Bay of Sterling, two lengths away, second last Doll says her. It's now last as Ming Princess moves around it in a tight field. At the 800, Golden Twigger half to Haunting, Svelte Princess three deep, a length and a half, Torval is at a dream run from Pope No Pearl. Hippity Hop over on the outside, one to seek a fortune, followed by Bay of Sterling in a tightly bunched field, then Ming Princess and back behind them, credit card and Dol Cesar last going well but nowhere to go. Five lengths covered them with 4.50 to go. Golden Twig joined again by Haunting. Poke No Pearl comes to the outside. Seeker Fortune moving up. Torval cantering can't get a run. And then Bay of Sterling. Back behind them. Hippity Hop's gone. Svelte Princess Dol Cesar into the straight. And Poke No Pearl pounced on the leader and dashed away. Torval's got out on the outside. And Bay of Sterling running on pretty well from Dol Cesar. Nowhere to go still. Poke No Pearl in front. 100 metres to go. Coming at it is Torval on the outside. And Dol Cesar flying won't make it. Uh, the winner is Torval ahead to either Doll Cesar, also their Pope No Pearl and Bay of Sterling who got up on the fence. Four of them hit the line, but Torval will get it. They were followed by Golden Twig and Seek of Fortune from Haunting Ming Princess credit card. Hippity Hop and Svelte Princess has run last. Well, it certainly was a tight finish to the second race on the card and Torval got there at 13 to 2 as called by Bill Collins. Poke No Pearl second at 8 to 1. Dolcezza, a big run third, 9 to 2 and the favourite Haunting unplaced at 4 to 1. The Great Western Champagne Stakes was the third. The favourite here was Lord Mornington but there was very strong support for the Brian Ralph train. Indeed I do. Racing this time, Smokey Fox a little slow. Indeed I do began well out wide and as one of the early leaders, Morning Minstrel got away okay. Cruel and Vaughn and Lord Morning is going to hold the inside without any effort. Claus is running about fifth. Indeed I do's moved up on the outside, but outside a lot of horses. Settling down Lord Mornington under restraint. Three quarters of a length to Indeed I do. They were followed then by behind those horses, Mongo. Claus lost ground to about six. Placato going through with Cruel and Vaughn. They got a long way away from Kilkenyo and about behind them behold a phantom and they were followed then at the head of the others by uh, star zip coming up to the corner and indeed i do traveling particularly well has gone up to join lord mornington two links to claws getting settled and running on from placato the rest you can't find them lord mornington hanging indeed i do's got it beaten as they turn with claws running on well then placato but it's indeed i do a half length in front with a hundred to go from lord mornington and claws and indeed i do kept going hands and heels wins it by a little over a length Lord Mornington second, and Nectar Claus third. Three or four lengths away then came Mongo. With it is Kilyanko, and over on the outside of them is Smokey Fox. They were followed further back at the head of the others by Morning Minstrel. Uh, also making up some ground out wide on the track was Star Zip, and Krillon Von dropped out with Beholder Phantom just in front of it with the also Market Ray. Indeed I do, a 3-1 to one travel beautifully all the way and scored an impressive win from the favourite Lord Mornington 5-4 to four Island Claws running third at 3-1, to one, the popular trifecta in the third. The famous Grouse Mooney Valley Cup was the fourth race, 2,600 metres and uh, in a wide open affair, the popular pick was what a nuisance at 13-4. to four. Racing. Caught them well. Juanetta's girl was one of the first to get going, about five out from the fence. Getting away well was Italian Verdict. Butternut out wide and Rocky Roller. And also Prince Bourbon and Colonial Flag moving quickly towards the lead now. And Chia Charlie drops out to last with Dejour Mio. Rocky Roller crossed over, not much pace on settling down from Butternut, a length Prince Bourbon and Pliancy, one to Colonial Flag. Then Italian Verdict and they're followed by Peckham, I guess, up running about fourth. It usually drops out to the rear. Uh, back behind those horses then, tucked in on the inside, is Beatrice Levette. Dornetta's girl, what a nuisance, is back there too towards the rear with Cheer Charlie and last is your Mio. Pretty leisurely place in the straight the first time. Rocky Ruler, two lengths, Peckham, I guess, up second. Third, Butternut from Pliancy, two lengths, Italian Verdict, Colonial Flag is in on the rails, past the bat and three deep from What a Nuisance. Then came the Liska, Beatrice, Levette, Prince Bourbon's gone right back through the field. Duanetta's girls back about third last with Cheer Charlie and last to Jour Mio. Out of the straight to the 1600, Rocky Ruler, two lengths to Peckham, I guess, a half to Butternut. Two to Pliancy, a little more pace on, two away, Italian Verdict. Colonial Flag tucked in on the fence, a length and a half, What a Nuisance inside, past the bat on. 
Two lengths away, Beatrice Levette and Aliska, a length and a half. Dronetta's girl over on the outside of Cheer Charlie, two to Prince Bourbon. I think Tajour Mio's broken down the top weight. It has Tajour Mio's being pulled up at the 1200 corner. Rocky Ruler, two lengths, Peckham Aguess travelling well. A length and a half, Pliancy from Butternut, one to Italian Verdict. A length, Colonial Flag, the rails from past the bat, and a half length, What a Nuisance on the fence. Then Naliska, Dwanetta's girl, the outside, three deep from Beatrice Levette and Prince Bourbon and Cheer Charlie are now together last. 900 to go, and the leader, Rocky Ruller, a length and a half, Peckham, I guess. One further back, Pliancy, a length, Butternut. Colonial Flag whipped off the fence now, and he and Prince Bourbon going together quickly. Highland easing, what a nuisance off the rails, and they were followed further back in the field. Then Beatrice Lovett, Italian verdict, Naliska. Dwanette's girl having its ears scrubbed off next, and then cheers Charlie. Sweeping up to the 500 metre mark, and the race is on as earnest. Rocky Roller is tuckled, tackled now by on the outside, Colonial Flag. And dropping out of it there in the centre is Peckham, I guess, and Butternut's battling on. What a nuisance is a long way back and under pressure, followed by Italian verdict. Butternut had gone to the lead as they swung around the turn into the straight. Drew a neck to Rocky Ruler, well clear of Colonial Flag, Peckham, I guess, and what a nuisance. Butternut the leader, a half length, Rocky Ruler in the straight. Two lengths away at the head of the others, Peckham, I guess, and what a nuisance. Late down the outside, Butternut in front, Peckham, I guess, and what a nuisance, and Rocky Ruler poking up on the fence. I reckon Butternut a nostril to Rocky Ruler. Uh, close for third, Peckham, I guess, and what a nuisance. They're followed by Naliska, Italian verdict, Juanette's girl. Then Colonial Flag, a poor run from past the baton, Beatrice Lovett, Cheer Charlie, and Pliancy and Prince Bourbon, the last two. Dijon Mio failed to complete the course. Well, that one by an absolute breath, Butternut, at 40 to 1, Rocky Ruler. Very courageous performance, second at 9 to 1, Peckham, I guess, third at fours. And what a nuisance was the favourite unplaced at 13 to 4 and a couple of disappointing runs including that of Colonial Flag and also Dwayne Nett's Girl. So it was the big one of the day, the WS Cox Plate, 2,050 metres, the best weight for age performers from around Australia and the three-year-old drawn was the favourite at 7 to 2. Lights. They're racing. King Phoenix away well with Rising Prince the Filbert and Delightful Bell Kingdom Bay. Out wide, a Roman artist is racing quickly to the lead and it's going to be in front out wide on the track when they settle down. Hay Eye is back near the rear with Riverdale and Fox Seal. Roman artist led out of the straight, a length and a half, Rising Prince fighting for his head from Acumen, Delightful Bell. King Phoenix about fifth on the inside from Kingdom Bay and the Filbert in the centre. There followed a length to Drawn in the middle of the field from Centauria, Impertune, two to Spirit of Kingston. Then Fox Seal, two to Hay Eye and last, Riverdale. The pace of Cracker at the 1400. Roman artist, two lengths to Rising Prince, five lengths to Acumen, third. A length to Kingdom Bay in the outside from Delightful Bell, a length further back then came the Filbert and Drawn, two lengths to King Phoenix and there followed by Importune Centauria, next is Fox Seal Spirit of Kingston, three lengths to Hay Eye and last in the field Riverdale 1200 to go, Roman Artist, three lengths to Rising Prince who settled better with the fast pace, two lengths to Kingdom Bay two to Acumen, fourth and a length to Drawn, a half delightful Bell the rails going through, then a length further back came Importune around the outside of the Filbert, one to King Phoenix, two to Centauria a length to Fox Seal Spirit of Kingston, Riverdale pulled to the outside and Hay Eye whipped them in. 800 to go and the leader Roman Artist two lengths two in second position still rising Prince of Half Kingdom Bay. One to Acumen taken to the outside. Delightful Bell and the Filbert getting up on the inside is next from Drawn. Centauria taken to the outside. King Phoenix is under the whip then Spirit of Kingston and Hay Eye from Fox Seal. 400 out Roman Artist a half length rising Prince challenging from Kingdom Bay three deep and four deep Centauria. Drawn trying to get a run in the center with the Filbert and then Acumen and King Phoenix struggling from Delightful Bell. Rising Prince took the lead from Roman Artist on the corner. Drawn is getting out after them now from the field, but the others can't win. Rising Prince took the lead in the straight from Roman Artist. Drawn two lengths away under the whip. I think Rising Prince has got away from them. Two in front. He looks the winner. In second place, Roman Artist followed by Drawn and the field, but, but Rising Prince is going to canter in. Wins by three lengths to Roman Artist. Drawn is third, ahead to the Filbert fourth. Three lengths away, King Phoenix and Fox Seal, followed by Kingdom Bay Acumen. Then Riverdale, Delightful Bell, further back from Centauria. Well back, Spirit of Kingston and Hay Eye. And 100 metres away last is Importune.
Yes, well, he ran right up to a very good performance in the Caulfield Cup last week by taking out the Cox Plate Rising Prince at 7-1. to one. Roman Artis, tremendous effort second at 16-1 to one, and drawn an honest run third at 7-2 to two and favourite. The Herald Vars, 1,600 metres, and Pat Hyland was aboard the favourite here, Caledonian Boy, at 9-4. to four. He disobeyed instructions, but it certainly turned out the right way. Racing. They've jumped in a pretty good line too. Reputed one of the first with Caledonian Boy away well today. Followed then wider out Cuban Mahogany and Ras Flyer. Nothing really wanting to lead. Beaufort Dream is pushing up in the centre. Splendid Speed has dropped behind them on the rails. The rider of Arbitral in some trouble there. Hot Case back near the rear and Dextrous is last. Round that first corner and Highland's taken Caledonian Boy to the lead. Nothing wanting to be in front. There's no pace on. A length away second Ras Flyer. Followed then by getting up on the outside. Charm along from Beaufort Dream. Raj put out deep next in the centre, Cuban Mahogany a length uh, reputed, one and a half splendid speed and they were followed further back, hypertension, then hot case dexterous and arbitral last at the 900 metres, Caledonian Boy is going along comfortably in front, a length Ras Flyer and a half to charm along one to Beaufort Dream, a length to Raj put and then a length hypertension pulling out three deep, splendid speed behind them uh, with them Cuban Mahogany dexterous now taken to the outside, reputed's under the whip and hot case has dropped out second last and last of all is arbitral 500 to go and the leader is doing it well and it's Caledonian Boy a half to Ras Flyer they've put on the pace and got four lengths in front of Rajput then Hypertension Splendid Speed followed by Reputed and Dexterous struggling but Caledonian Boy is travelling beautifully 300 to go kicked away two lengths in front of Ras Flyer going further ahead Splendid Speed the only danger if there is one is running on pretty well and then came Reputed with 100 to go and the leader Caledonian Boy Highland shows him one flick with the whip and he's got it one Caledonian Boy goes on to win by two and a half lengths to Reputed. Splendid Speed is third, fourth Ras Flyer, then Raj put Dexterous. Behind them, Hypertension, and then came Arbitral Cuban Mahogany. Next, Beaufort Dream, Hot Case was second last, and last of all was Charmalot. Petty ride by Pat Highland, Caledonian Boy, too classy for them, and he'll have a spell now, the 9-4 to four favourite. Reputed second at 8-1, to one. and I thought the run of the uh, third horse, Splendid Speed, wasn't too bad at 13-4 to four in race six. The Waterford Crystal Mile was the seventh race, over 1,600, and here you could get five to one the field with the equal favourites, Mrs Fitzherbert and Colour Page. Ready, attendant in with keepers. Racy, Black Knight missed it about two lengths. Lockley's tradition and keepers and Mrs Fitzherbert the best away. Wise Call began nicely from Phoenix Rising, Wholesale, Boom, Castanilia, Go, Robbo. Then Dazzling Duke, Colour Page on the outside and Shiftnell Prince out about 15 wide going to the first corner. Then Fine Offer and back behind them is El Coran. Now second last is Black Knight and last Galactic Star. At the 1200 and Dazzling Duke took the lead from Lockley's tradition and on the outside came Colour Page. One to Mrs Fitzherbert, a length further back, Phoenix Rising going three deep around Wise Call and Keepers and Wise Call checked and nearly fell. Then uh, Castanilia is on the outside of them and a length further back, Wholesale Boom. They're followed by Go Robbo, Shiftnell Prince, a length and a half, El Coran trapped on the outside, three deep around Fine Offer, Black Knight and last Galactic Star. At the 800, Dazzling Duke, a half to Colour Page, who's been wide. Lockley's tradition with the run of the race, third a length, Mrs Fitzherbert from Phoenix Rising. Here's Shiftnell Prince taking off round them in the all white and they were followed then by Castanilia. Fine Offer making a run at El Coran, hooked about six deep, followed by Wise Call, Wholesale Wholesale boom dropped out of it. On the corner, 4.50 to go, and Lockley's Tradition got up on the rails to join Dazzling Duke, who was hanging. A length and a half shift, and Prince third, but now under pressure from Mrs Fitzherbert. Fine offer. Colour page is gone. Dazzling Duke fought back. He's going a bit better than Lockley's Tradition. Drew a length clear into the straight. Mrs Fitzherbert pulled out now, and they're well clear of shift, and Prince. It's Dazzling Duke clear of Mrs Fitzherbert, who's trying to get to him. But Dazzling Duke hard ridden, hanging onto the lead, and Dazzling Duke a neck in front near the line end beats Mrs Fitzherbert. Servant. Lockley's tradition was third. Fourth in the race, Colour Page from Keepers Phoenix Rising. Black Knight, he raced home beautifully next. They're followed by Wise Call, Wholesale Boom. At the head of the others, Go Robbo, El Coran, Fine Offer, Galactic Star, Shiftal Prince, Stop to a Walk, and Castanilia last again. Yes, Dazzling Duke, a bit too strong for them at 12s from Mrs Fitz, uh, Fitzherbert at 5 to 1 equal, Lockley's tradition 9 to 1. Wise Call was also one of the unplaced equal favourites with Calipodes at 5 to 1. And what about the run of Black Knight? It looks pretty fit for that first Tuesday in November. So it was the time for the last race, the AJ Moyer Stakes, wait for age, 1,000 metres and a great field with the favourite Let's Get Physical at 5 to 2. Lights on. Racing. 
They seem to jump away pretty well too. Out wide, let me tell. Palomino star, touch of genius, burning them all off. Going through is Rory's jester. Let's get physical behind those horses and going through on the fences. Stock will last. A line of about five. Richfield's lads back second last and Lord Ballina last. At the 700 they race and there's about four of them in line. Palomino star just in front of let me tell. Stock will last. Aqualone and touch of genius. Lord Galaxy the outside. Let's get physical. Badly beaten for speed. Rory's jester got shunted back in the field. West Mayo and then Richfield's lad followed by slave trade. Lord Ballina and Canny last. On the turn, 350 out. Let me tell an Aqualone with stock will last the rails. Palomino star. Lord Galaxy and Little Libby to the outside from Champer and let's get physical next from Richfield's lad. Aqualone the boulder took the lead in the straight. There's bad crowding. Aqualone's in front. Out wide Lord Galaxy and Rory's jester and let's get physical the fence. Aqualone's won it. Ahead to let's get physical. A Nick to Rory's jester. Lord Galaxy fourth in Canny last. Next is Lord Ballina. They were followed by Touch of Genius, Little Libby, and Stock will last Richfield's lad. Uh, Touch of Genius, Slave Trade, West Mayo, further back Palomino Star and Champa. Protest by the rider of Let's Get Physical against the winner Aqualone was dismissed and it was a wipeout for punters Aqualone at 40, uh, 40 to 1, beaten at Benalla at his previous start. A dead heat for second between Let's Get Physical at 5 to 2 and Rory's Jester at 4 to 1. Let's have a look at the doubles from Mooney Valley. The extra 3 and 12, 173, 60. Daily double 3 and 9, 112, 30. And the Quadrilla 7, 3, 1 and 9, $420.25. I raced in Sydney on a heavy track yesterday, 10 and 1 the extra at $20.70, daily double 5 and 10, $30.95. Over in Adelaide, the extra 6 and 3, $40.25, daily double 4 and 3, paid $20.70. Provincial racing yesterday at Moey, the extra 1 and 4, $10.70, the daily double 14 and 2, $162.60, and the quadrilla at Moey on 5, 1, 2 and 4, $267.65. And, and that was the story of racing yesterday as you saw it live here on 7 yesterday afternoon from Mooney Valley. We'll take a break and be back to take a look at a very big week in greyhound racing in just a moment. The day of Vicky. Take a look 